What's up, players? It's Warboss Tay up in this mud. Welcome to Fluff Hunters episode 4 Emperor's Children. And I've painted up this chapter, Masters of the Chapter, in the color scheme of a pre heresy Emperor's Children. And so it's got that rich, deep purple with the gold trim. And I actually got this color scheme off the White Dwarf October issue. And it says how to do it. And it's really easy. And I'm going to show it to you right now if you don't want to wait for the tutorial. You're going to use this color, Jane Steeler Purple. I found that it was a tricky color to work with at the very beginning, so I actually base coated in Nagaroth Knight, but you could mix the two together and it creates a nice, nice purple. And then you wash with, where is it? Here we go. Drukai Violet, which is a purple wash. And then you paint it right back up, layer it back up with Jane Steeler Purple, and you get this nice nice deep rich purple color scheme and when you look at the uh, warhammerwiki.com warhammer40k.wikia.com talks about or it shows you a, a pre legion heresy color scheme and it's pretty close to what the game workshop white dwarf team did with the forge world model let me see if i can just load it up really quickly and i say pre heresy because post heresy the Emperor's Children, for those of you who don't know, turned traitor and they became an evil legion bad guys and their color scheme went from this purple with gold trim to pink and black, which is... I, I, I don't really care for, but here we go. You can see that in the good old days they had this beautiful purple and gold. I wonder if this is from... I think this is from the new Horus Heresy book, The Trail on um, the Forge World, the new Forge World book. Very cool. So, I um, definitely want to pick up one of that, but this is the color scheme that you gotta use now. They even have a paint in the new Games Workshop range called Emperor's Children. If you want to get this pale pinkish color, then you just use some black and... Yeah, but originally, the Emperor's Children um, were the third legion. Space Marines, and their Primarch is Fulgrim, and um, let's see, I'm not going to go too much into it, but um, if you want to read more about them, the Horus Heresy novels are really great. They really flesh out a lot of their original background and fluff, the characters like Lucius and um, the, uh, the Loyalist. That, that stayed true to the Emperor at the end and ended up getting getting killed with the, the rest of the Loyalists on Istavan 3. I mean, with all of the Horus Heresy stuff going around now because of the new Forge World book, uh, it's, a, it's a great time to collect these pre-Heresy Emperor's children and to paint them up like this. If you want to get the same effect that I got for the cloak, what I did was I used Stegodon Scale Green as a base. And then I highlighted up with Sotek green, washed with Drew Kai violet, and then highlighted back up with some Sotek green, and added in a little bit of this Cabalite green. And that's actually what I think I'm going to do for my Alpha Legion Chaos Base Marines that I'm going to be painting up later for the little hint of the what's to come, the Chaos Eight Sided Star. I actually used just a bunch of browns and I built up. I think I started with Steel Legion Drab and I painted the basic design and then I highlighted up with Carrack Stone Ushanti Bone and finally a little bit I mixed in a little bit of Ceramite White. Just a tiny little bit though, so you don't get too much of a of that of that highlighting effect. It's just like dirty brown and, and bone. So, um, fluff-wise, these guys, they eventually turned to Slanesh, and um, they were originally just all about being perfect and, and perfecting themselves, like, martially and, and culturally, and um, just being, um, you know, just the best of the best. And they were uh, prided as having been the only legion before the heresy to sport the Aquila, or the Eagle, design. So that's why I decided to choose this guy to paint up as a... Emperor's Children because he's got that big golden Aquila on his breastplate. Um, let's 
let's see what else is there to say about him. Not really, not really much. Fulgrim was often seen as a, um, as the Primarch, um, kind of like the equal of Sanguinius, who's the Primarch of the Blood Angels. And the Blood Angels and the Emperor's Children were both legions that were very sensitive and very into the aesthetics of, like, keeping their armor pristine and, and looking as, as best as they could and perfecting their, their martial prowess on the field rather than just sitting back and pounding the enemy with big guns or running in and chop chop chopping like the world eaters. They're very much about the art of war and that might be what led them to fall to Slanesh, the chaos god of excess and perversion because they were trying to um, perfect themselves and and um, perfect their art of fighting and maybe Slanesh just kind of tempted them in, into um, you know betraying betraying their brothers being able to achieve that perfection that they couldn't achieve otherwise because they were still basically human. Anyways, um, I highly suggest reading the Horus Heresy novels, the first three, and also the new one that's coming out, Angel Exterminatus, features Fulgrim, the Primarch of the Emperor's Legion, and he's teaming up with, I think it's, who was it, Perturabo, the Primarch of the Iron Warriors, and um, you can read all about their crazy adventures there. But great legion uh, color scheme to paint up, especially with all the Horus Heresy stuff. For those of you who don't, don't have the first book in the series of new Imperial Armor, I guess they're not really Imperial Armor books, but the Horus Heresy series released from Forge World, definitely go pick that up. I'm really looking forward to getting my hands on one as well. You can see some great artwork and just read about the fluff and bringing the characters to life that we've read about in all the novels up till now. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this little look at my completed Master of the Chapter for the Emperor's Legion pre-Heresy color scheme. And um, please don't forget to leave comments and all that stuff below. And finally, um, Project One Gaming, my friend D is having some more great deals, so please check him out. He's got a really, really cheap Necron army for sale, and he's got a lot of videos that really explain um, just how great of a deal you would be getting if you contract him and his other um, painters over at Project One to, to do an army for you. If you don't have the time the, or the, um, you know, the artistic talent to do it yourself, definitely go check him out because he's um, a starting businessman and their, their, their products are really great and he does really, really good work for, for a very competitive price. So check him out and also stay tuned for more details on Spooky Toberfest. All that stuff is coming up soon. Thanks for watching everybody. See you in the next video.